morning all of you happy navratri and happy dashera as ma durga bestow you and your family with nine types of blessings in the navratri which are name fame wealth prosperity happiness education commitment power and health so on the occasion of navratri i'm going to tell you about all the nine forms of ma durga and what they signifies the first form of ma durga is goddess shalaputri who adorns a trishul and a lotus in her hand and signifies embodiment patience and devotion ma brahmacharini is the second avatar of goddess durga and she is the symbol of nobility renunciation and penance goddess chandraganta is the third manifestation of durga ji who is a fierce ten armed goddess with anger goddess kushmanda is worshiped on fourth day because she is known to create the universe with her energy and warmth goddess sakand mata is the fifth avatar of durga she is calm and serene god depicted as four arm god with a lotus in one hand and a bell and kamandal in other goddess katyani is worshiped on sixth day of navratri and she blesses a sweet life to the people and is a symbol of true devotion goddess kalratri is worshiped on seventh day known to bestow her true devotees with protection from evil spirits and powers goddess magauri is the god who rides on a bull or a white elephant and is a symbol of deep penance and perseverance and worshiped on eighth day goddess siddhidatri is worshiped on the ninth day on navmi and her form of shakti signifies knowledge wisdom and accomplishment her name also signifies perfection thank you navratri also called durga puja in hinduism major festival held in honor of the divine feminine navratri occurs over 9 days during the month of ashwin it often ends with the dashera celebrated on the 10th day in some parts of india dashera is considered as a focal point of the festival making it effective span 10 days is instead of nine edition of navratri depends on the lunar calendar in some areas it may be celebrated for 8 days with dashera on the 9th day there are four similar festivals also called navratri which are held at various stage of the year however the earlier autumn festival also called shadra navratri in the most significant navratri is celebrated different uh, differently in india's various region for many people it is a time of religious reflection and fasting for other it is that it is a time for dancing and feasting along fasting customs are observing a strict vegetarian diet and abs- abstain for from alcohol and certain spices dance performed include ghagra especially in gujarat type type or typely the festival nine nine nights are dedicated to different effects for the divine feminine principle or shakti while the pattern varies somewhat by religion generally the first third of the festival focuses on aspect of the goddess durga the second third of the goddess lakshmi and the final third of the goddess saraswati सुप्रभात मेरा नाम कुणाल सैनी है और आज मैं इस दशहरा के शुभ अवसर पर आप सभी के समक्ष कुछ प्रस्तुत करना चाहता हूं दशहरा हिंदू धर्म का महत्वपूर्ण त्यौहार है इस त्यौहार यह त्यौहार प्रति वर्ष आश्विन मास के शुक्ल पक्ष की दशमी को मनाया जाता है माँ दुर्गा ने महिषासुर से नौ दिन तक संघर्ष करके दसवें दिन उसका वध किया था तथा दशहरा के दिन ही राम जी ने रावण का वध किया था यह त्यौहार बुराई पर अच्छाई की तथा अधर्म पर धर्म की विजय के रूप में मनाया जाता है दशहरे के दिन नगर में खूब धूमधाम होती है खेल मैदान में रावण मेघनाथ तथा कुंभकरण के बड़े बड़े पुतलों को जलाया जाता है 
देश भर में रामलीला और मेलों का आयोजन होता है रावण के जलने पर जो धमाके होते हैं उससे बच्चे बहुत खुश होते हैं दशहरे के दिन स्कूल कॉलेज सरकारी दफ्तर में अवकाश रहता है दशहरा को विजयदशमी भी कहा जाता है दशहरे का त्यौहार सितंबर या अक्टूबर के महीने में दिवाली से बीस दिन पहले पड़ता है दशहरे से कुछ दिन पूर्व ही जगह जगह रामलीला का आयोजन किया जाता है जिसमें भगवान राम का जीवन प्रदर्शित किया जाता है दशहरे के दिन राम और रावण का युद्ध दिखाया जाता है जिसमें राम अग्नि बाण छोड़कर रावण के पुतले को आग लगाते हैं भगवान राम से जुड़े इस त्यौहार इस त्यौहार से हमें यह सीख मिलती है कि हम उनके आदर्शों पर चलें और उनके आदर्शों से प्रेरणा लें धन्यवाद जय श्री राम